hey guys welcome back to my channel so as you must have read from the title from for today's video we're going to be doing another monthly favorites so this is the first monthly favorites of 2021 and i'm going to be sharing some products that i really enjoyed using in january if you like the video don't forget to smash a big thumbs up and other than that let's get started Before I start showing you the products, the first thing that I want to talk to you about is my favorite moment from 2021, which happens to be the first moment of 2021. I am very grateful and it's it's my most favorite thing that I celebrated New Year's with my family. So I was really happy. So it has to be, has to be my favorite moment for January 2021. So let's talk about books. So in January, I read four books. Two of them were Secret and The Greatest Secrets. I don't really like these two books because I feel personally I am not sure if I've taken the correct message from the books and I'm very much open to learning as well but um, as much as I've learned from the books I feel that um, these books are a bit too delusional. I think I'm gonna make another video about it what I really think about these two books but my favorite books if we are talking about it has to be has to be these two the first one is this one it's called Huga that's how it's pronounced um, is a Danish way of living to live well this book is very cozy book I don't know how to explain but this book is really really like something um that makes you feel very warm and cozy it just talks about how danish people spend their lives and um if you know by any chance danish people are the happiest people in the world and denmark as a country is always comes up in the top three um happiest countries so it's just how these people find happiness in small things um or all, all this talks about is that this that the way Danish people live is they live for the atmosphere and the experience rather for things so that's all that in this one like how they live basically the other one is Luca very same pronunciation just a few words different it is the Danish search for world's happiest people so this actually talks about how you can find happiness and how Danish people are considered to be the happiest and why they're really happy that book really talked about um how they live a happy life but this one tells about what makes them really happy what are the small changes they have done and what makes denmark stand out of all the countries and how they are really happy and not only denmark it's more about the nordics because i'm reading the current one i'm reading um legum i think is the name it's about the swedish people and yes scandinavian countries and the nordics are supposed to be the happiest countries in the world the next is favorite skincare uh, so my favorite skincare has to be the estee lauder advanced night repair serum i have used almost half the bottle i don't know if it's visible and the other one has to be the estee lauder advanced night repair eye cream um this one i think is more so like full because you just need a tiny bit on your fingertips and that's all you need um i got these two from the black friday sale i'll link the video somewhere here i think the video is going to be here so i'll link it here and otherwise here and um i absolutely love it it actually what it says it actually does it it you really really feel very moisturized and nourished in your skin and it feels really plump and snatched so i love this i had like i said in one of the videos that people were happy when lockdown happened because their skin felt really great mine went downhill after started using these two and the pixie toners that i bought that's also in black friday sale so it just feels amazing now the next one has to be makeup so um it's nothing new is these two palettes i've got the, all the three but these two and this huda beauty stick foundation 
the first reason that I love them, absolutely love them, is because of the size. They're really compact. Everything is so tiny and compact. This is so compact as a foundation. So I took these three with me to India, which, and that's I think probably one of the reasons I really love them because it's so compact. So it was not a hassle for traveling. And because this is not a liquid foundation, this is a stick foundation. So I didn't have to worry about spillage and everything. So love it. Anyway, the foundation is amazing. It goes from natural to full coverage i've talked about it in one of the videos i will link that as well here about when i reviewed the foundation when i used it for the first time these two are not only these two any huda beauty palettes they're super pigmented so love it and because they're small and they have like nine wonderful shades um this one is light and the other one is a bit darker it's very brownish so I think you can do a lot with these two and they have got nice wonderful line shades each so yeah you can create a lot of looks and I think that's what all that's all you need if you're on a holiday so yeah these were the two these were the three actually makeup products that I really loved okay so shows there are there are a lot of shows actually i watched this month i don't know how for some reason i felt january was so small but yet so long because i could do a lot i read four books i watched a lot of shows i watched mismatched i liked it. it's like a one time off very casual i watched it when i came back from india that and bhagvi nibhag these two are the shows that i watched when i came back from india because i was tiny bit homesick and i didn't want to watch something massive so just chill off things then I watched that um, Housewife show about that Bollywood lives of houses. Oh my gosh, it was so cringy. But the problem is, you like it at the same time. If you watch it, it's so addicting, so I couldn't stop. But it was so cringeworthy. But the two series that I really loved is Bridgeton and The Queen's Gambit. Both of them are period dramas. The Queen Gambit is about a girl who is a world chess champion. I think she's world um, chess champion but yeah she's the ch chess champion but she is addicted to drugs wonderful and must watch it's a short Netflix series so limited series so yeah it's just I think six or seven episodes same is Bridgeton it's a period drama as well it's about how in earlier days people find matches um, it's a nice one it's a nice one it's a bit suspenseful because you don't know who the lady is who's writing newspapers but absolutely liked it and i think they because there was this poster which i'm gonna stick here over here this message that came on instagram that they are starting um shooting for the second series in spring i presume so i'm really excited for the next one food so if i have to talk about food this month i've been a total slack not cooked at all just cooked like bits and pieces here and there random food absolutely so the only thing that i possibly liked is clementines because to stay away from covid you need a lot of vitamin c that's what my mom told me day in day out when i was in india so all i had this month was clementines lots and lots of mandarins clementines oranges whatever just that the last thing is a camera it is this polaroid camera um this is the instex mini 11 camera so i got this one um from my cousin who lives in the uk he they live in england so the, he gifted me for Raksha Bandhan, I think, or Bhai Dooja, I don't remember one of these. He gifted me this and I, why I really like this and why I'm showing it now is because I've started maintaining a journal. Though I do it every year, I did it last year as well, but it was not as intense as I maintain, as the one I'm maintaining now. So I, what I try to do is take one picture from every month that I really, really like and um, I'm going to paste it there. So for January, I've already taken, I think I have two for January. So that's the reason it's instant and you get a picture and then you can just paste it in the journal. And I think I'll talk to you about the journal later on in the year at some point, how I do it. And I'm just figuring out my way. So once I am 100% sure, I will talk to you guys about it. But yeah, that's the reason I love this camera. Very easy to use. You just have to click a picture. It comes straight up from here. And I like the color as well because I've said in the previous one as well that lilac is my favorite color. So this is my favorite one. And that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to smash a big thumbs up. If you'd like to stick around, please subscribe to my channel. And comment down below which one is your favorite thing among these or which one did you enjoy using in January. Other than that, I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.